Today we're excited to check out and test drive this beautiful 1966 satellite. Gorgeous paint and chrome, good stance, wheels, four speed manual transmission. It's a nice car. Yeah, the best thing with this one is this rust free, gorgeous paint, laser straight body and awesome chrome. I love the Riddler wheels on it too. When it came in, that's exactly what it had in it, on it I should say. And um, the guy did a great uh, job picking out the wheels on this one. The color is absolutely beautiful too. It's a you know, dark green with a ton of metallic in there. As we look at the body on it, just check out how the top of the door matches up to the cowl and the back of the hood. I mean, the fit and finish on the front end of this satellite is perfect. This is uh, the first of three Mopars that we're gonna do back to back to back. A 66 satellite, 68 GTX, 69 GTX, um, just to name a few. Even the paintwork in the, in the under the hood compartment too is really nice. Yeah, the only thing, the only downfall of the whole car is just the little small block V8. It's got a few paint chips and you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Yeah. Other than that, the rest of it is just, you know, absolutely show quality. Yeah, I mean, if a guy wanted to spend a little time putting a different air cleaner on it and, and stuff like that, I mean, it looked fantastic. That, really that's the only probably thing. all it needs is, yeah. you know, pull the car, paint the engine and just a little bit. But yeah, show quality car through and through. I love that. Uh, I call it kind of a... I know it's a greenish gold, but that gold bucket seat console interior is awesome as well. Yeah, it's perfect with this color. Sounds nice, too. What do you think, D? Thumbs like up, it. thumbs down. Thumb up. All right. It's one of those you have to see in person again to just really appreciate the quality of the paint job, um, the body work, the fit and finish of the body. It's got a lot of chrome on it too. You know, like all the side chrome, bottom chrome, uh, just in great shape. The, Bottom of the door matches up to the fender and the quarter perfectly. You can tell they started with a really good car here, you know, just by the fit and finish of it. Absolutely. I mean, there's probably, a, a, you know, a good handful of 66, 67 uh, satellites and coronets on the market, but a four speed bucket seat console, show quality paint and chrome stance, body lines, I mean, there's not many this nice. Now, how about that back chrome and how good that looks with these satellites? Yeah, it's nice. Tail light lenses, chrome, everything like that's all redone as well. Inside the trunk um, is all painted nicely as well. The only imperfection, maybe I guess there's two, I just noticed this. I hadn't seen that before. Mm, that probably just happened not too long ago. There's Somebody a small chip right here. Very small, but yeah. Um, this can all be buffed out, but this can't. That little scratch there, it's too bad. Back glass is crystal clear. The top of the back shelf is like new as well. As we open up the doors, Door jam paint is just as nice as the rest of the car. It's always a good question to ask when you're looking at one of these classics. You know, some people put a decent paint job on the outside and they just leave the door jams mm -hmm. kind of shitty. Um, you know, which this quality of restoration, it could definitely be a you know show quality car pretty easily. Inside door panels are gorgeous as well. Top of the dash pad is nice. Seat, door panels are awesome. Console's in beautiful shape. Carpet's all been replaced. You got anything to add, Big D? So far, the only thing that came out of your mouth this is the color. A scratch. <laughs> scratch and the color. I don't know. I, I kind of <laughs> like everything about it. Like you said, buckets, console, four speed's huge. 
Um, I just like the styling of these cars a lot also. Yeah. I think my favorite thing about it is uh, probably the two things, stance and the fit and finish. Yeah. You know? Definitely. I mean, I agree with you on the color, but you still don't find too many this nice. Scratch here, it might be able to be buffed just a little bit there. I mean, the cars are never perfect, or if they are, they can't stay perfect forever, unfortunately. Unless you want a trailer queen, and exactly. even then they get dirty and scratched in a trailer, I think too. This looks like one of those that right when it was done, it was perfect. Yeah, you it was, know, it was a trailer queen, that's for sure. Yeah, very close to perfect still. Yeah, absolutely. To restore one in this condition takes a long time. I don't know how I feel about the steering wheel either. I'd probably ditch that. Yep. I, I'm not a huge fan, but it depends if you're a bigger guy. The guy that probably owned it was a little bigger and had to have a little smaller wheel. But mm -hmm. to me, I'd go back kind of more of a stock wheel, another couple inches bigger. Yep, exactly. That's the nice thing is. That's the know, only thing I don't like about it. The easy, the easy things to change on this car are the only things that, you know. What, paint the engine a little bit? And, and that. change that if you wanted to, if a guy wanted to. But the hard part's done. Yeah. You know, beautiful about, paint and body. The felt and rubbers, I mean, are all brand new too. They used a high-end window felt. Wait yeah, till you did. roll up your window. It's actually a felt in there. Really? Never seen that before. Oh yeah. And they go up pretty good too. The headliner's super tight in it. Um, you don't have to do anything with that headliner. Top of the dash is all painted beautifully as well. Uh, another thing that somebody can do, it's missing those two little tiny chrome pieces here, and no one has put the radio in there. So I would probably just go ahead and, you know, put a fake radio in there, you know, and then put one in the glove box maybe. Here you go. <clears throat> and all these pieces are painted and, and like the buff too. They're all super smooth. Um, one thing that does not work on is the gas gauge doll. I noticed that yesterday, I thought I was out of gas. I went to fill it and it's full. Okay, good. Yeah, definitely full. 82,705 miles. Um, on that gas gauge, we always, the gauge itself looks nice. So I'm guessing it's not like old. Looks like that's been redone. So I'm guessing you're probably a setting unit or something, mm -hmm. but we'll get into that and fix that. We always make sure the gas gauge works before we look. they go out. Alternator gauge works. Drive it in the winter anyway. Turn the heater on, but at least I wouldn't. I think a four speed, you just don't find too many of these 66 and sevens with four speeds on them. Kind of learned my lesson a little bit yesterday on the yeah. four speed. Yeah. Right about here. Yeah, <laughs> try to run it a little too hard. Run the, shift to the four speed just a little too fast and uh, gonna have to rebuild it yeah so we're not doing that today <laughs> we've had a little bad luck with it. but yeah, i'm glad it happened to me instead of the customer right yep absolutely so that's the way to look at it yeah. so put them to the test we just we put them to the test and something breaks then you know what we i fix it yeah with my money right you should, you should be glad we're driving them hard <laughs> still makes you freaking sick yeah it is what it is So this really runs nice. Idle's good too. Yeah. How long do you think I'm gonna be gun shy of that? I don't Four know. Speed, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, I bet you'll be back to her next week. Might be sooner than you think. That's all I did with the damn thing. It took it took uh, it took a couple gears off of her. <laughs> yeah, this thing rides nice. Seventy. I don't have my door 100% shut. We'll just you might not hit it. Either. That's 100 times better over here. Yeah. Mine's probably not shut all the way either. No, it's not. But 
60 mile an hour. Besides that steering wheel being freaking ugly and not straight, 100%. This thing drives perfect. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm super impressed with the way it goes down the road. I have a power on it. How about this little small block? This thing, what more do you want? That's 85, 90, 92. I'm just doing that to kind of show everybody how straight and nice it is. Yeah. I mean, and how safe does that feel? Some of these old okay. Mopars, you're going down the road, that kind, even 60, you're kind of like this. Yeah. This is perfect, man. It is. It I'm really shifts. impressed. It sounds good, not loud, no vibrations in the shifter or nothing. Not a lot better best. car than I really gave it credit for, as far as mechanically, because we never really drove it much. Yeah. I don't think we drove it. No. This is awesome. I love it. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Links down in the comment section of the video. Uh, if you're interested, give us a call.